Hi, mathematicians. Let's do your homework. Okay, so we are working on triangle inequality theorem, which means that there should be a greater than symbol in every problem because they are not equal. We're trying to decide what this third side could be if you know that the smallest two sides have to be bigger than the third side, bigger than the biggest side. So the way we're going to do this is we are going to say, okay, what if our unknown side, our third side to our triangle, which we're just going to call x, is the smallest side. So I would add the smallest one plus the medium length, and that would have to be bigger than the biggest one. I would also say, okay, that's great. That's going to tell me the smallest that it could be. But I also need to know how big it could possibly be. What if our unknown side is the biggest side? Well, then I'd say the smallest plus the medium is got to be bigger than x. So then you're going to solve by isolating x. To get rid of this plus 7, we're going to do minus 7 to both sides. x is greater than, what's 12 minus 7? That's 5. That's one of your two answers. Also, 7 plus 12 is 19. That's bigger than x. So x has to be smaller than 19, while at the same time being bigger than 5. So that's our range. Anything bigger than 5, it could be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 17, 18, got to stop. It cannot be 19 or anything bigger than 19. So each of these should have two answers. Let's do one more again just for practice. If our unknown third side was the smallest, you'd start with that. You'd add the medium side, 15, and that would be bigger than the largest side. If our unknown side was the biggest, you'd start with the smallest, add the medium. That would be bigger than the biggest side, which we're going to say maybe is x. Solve by isolating x, get rid of that 15. Oh look, this one is also x is bigger than 5. That's just a coincidence. x has to be bigger than 5 while at the same time being smaller than 35. So your range of possible third sides for this triangle is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 31, 32, 33, 34, 34.999, but not 35, not anything bigger than 35. So that's your process for finding what could be the third side. If I tell you the three sides, then you need to check to make sure they actually do make a triangle. So smallest is 3 plus medium is that bigger than the biggest? 8 plus 3, 8, 9, 10, 11. Is 11 bigger than 11? No. You can stop there. 2, 5, 5. That would be an isosceles because those two are the same. Is 2 plus 5 bigger than 5? Yes, it is. How about 2 plus the other 5? Is that bigger than 5? Still yes. How about 5 plus 5? Is that bigger than 2? Why, yes it is. All three cases work. That is a triangle. So that's what you're doing for C and D. Last but not least, decide whether these could be, yes or no, the third side. Okay, if this x is the smallest side, x plus the middle side, which is 5, is bigger than the biggest. Or if x is the biggest, smallest, plus medium, is bigger than the biggest side. Isolate x, subtract 5 from both sides. x is bigger than 3. 5 plus 8 is 13. x is smaller than 13. Is 1 bigger than 3? No. So you're going to put a no here. Is 2 bigger than 3? No. What about 3? 3 is not bigger than 3. Is 4 bigger than 3? Yes. Is 4 also smaller than 13? Yes. So that one's a yes. So you're going through each of these to check. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wait, is 13 smaller than 13? No. Is 14 smaller than 13? So each of these should end up with a yes or a no. And that's your homework.